Greetings, it's me here again, the Broadcast Ninja. Yes, I'm still coming to terms with that name. Anyhow, uh, today I'm going to tackle with you for your Sam Broadcasting uh, the, the Crossfading and the Gap Killer. Yes, Crossfading and Gap Killer. Now, these settings are the settings that work for me. Um, I find them quite pleasing. Uh, and I find them easy to work with as uh, as a radio. I can leave it automate and move with the station at the same time. Um, it's it's the right timings for me. Now this is how, and this this is like I say, uh, you 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 all tweak these a little bit and you'll find it works a bit better one way or a bit better the other way. But if it's good enough for me and it's good enough for Ronnie. Uh, then, of course, it's good enough for everybody. So if we look at cross-fading, first of all, um, I have enable fade-out uh, checked. That's checked. Uh, and let's go with fade-out, first of all. Uh, I have an S curve. Uh, that's a bendy curve in the shape of an S. Um, uh, the time is at 5 seconds and the level 90%. Uh, that's what it is at fade-out fade in again is an s curve time 0 0.5 seconds and level 80 percent okay um now if we come down to crossfade i've got auto detect db level that's what i have that on fixed crossfade point is at 3.0 seconds the cross crossfade point detection it triggers at minus 7 dB. Minimum fade time, 100 milliseconds. Maximum fade time, 6,000 6, milliseconds. Sorry. Um, and do not cross fade or fade 65 seconds or less duration. Okay. Um, and then there's a little pretty picture over here on what it should sort of look like. You can imagine this song starting to starting to go quiet and before it gets to the end of the quiet this song kicks in um so you don't have you don't have that song start go down come up go down you don't get this hilly music it's called uh, your music isn't hilly it's more of a straight constant um it will go down slight to go down and then as it goes down the next song will kick in it and it does it properly so these settings are, are what i find works for me uh, they work for me, and it's how Medway Sound is set up. Um, you might find it. You might find a little tweak here and a little tweak there sounds better for you. But it's all what is better for you. But if you get in that general ballpark, if you if you use that as a general rule of thumb, then you will hit the right cross fading sound for you and your station. Now the next thing down the, after that is Gap Killer. Now, if we just look at the gap killer, um, this is simply what it says. It kills any gaps. So you make sure all four is ticked. OK, they might already be ticked, but just make sure all four is ticked. Now, remove silence from beginning of the track. That's ticked. And I've got that set at minus 45 dB. OK, uh, and remove silence from end of track. I've got that at minus 40 dB. And detect skips and blips. Um, that's checked. And of 20 milliseconds or less. And uh, trigger end of song. If more than 15 seconds of silence detected. Okay. Okay. Have a little look. You can pause. Or uh, scribble down them settings if you need to do that. That's how I find it works with Medway Sound. Now, as always, if you change a setting, um, you go straight up, you say OK, first of all, you're happy with it. And then you go up to File and you Save Configuration. And then when you come out of the program and go back into the program, it will be back where it belongs. Right, well, there we go. That's another thing done right here on your guide to sam broadcaster don't forget if you have any questions pop them down in the comments and i'll do my best to answer them for you and uh, if you like click like if, you, if it's helped you please click like 
a little tick tick thumbs up i think it is um and subscribe if you haven't subscribed and feel free to share amongst your radio community right that's it i'll be back with more how to's with sam broadcaster don't go away